story of a triangle of three people. And Clara Morgan O'Brien was one of the people, and the other person was named Valerie Hunt. And they were both linked to this one man. And I'm going to read this. This is from Mountaintop Media. This is dated 2021. Body identified as a missing woman, the cause of death was ruled a homicide. The state medical examiner's office had, has conclusively identified a body found Sunday at Lick Creek in Feds Creek, Kentucky, which is in Pike County, as Clara Morgan O'Brien, age 39, of Feds Creek. O'Brien had been missing since December the 18th, I'm thinking 2020. Her body was found near the home of Chadwick Hunt. Hunt reportedly told authorities that O'Brien died at his home and he moved her body outside. However, her death has been ruled a homicide. I remember this and he had told them that she died from, I think, maybe a drug overdose or some kind of natural death. And uh, that he got scared and put her body in garbage bags and moved her outside because he didn't want to, you know her to be found in his home, I guess. Now Hunt, Chadwick Hunt, is the estranged husband of another Pike County woman who was reported missing earlier that same year. Valerie Hunt, age 39, was reported missing in August. She last contacted a family member from a Lick Creek residence on July the 30th. Family members have told Mountaintop News that she was at Chadwick Hunt's home when she contacted them. Now, the two of them were married, but they were not living together. And at this time, there was no indication whether Chadwick Hunt had any involvement in her disappearance. Now, here is the story of Clara Morgan O'Brien. This is from the, the LavazaLaser.com. This is dated December the 31st, 2020. Now, at that time, they still had not made a, a definite um, identification of the body. Chain of events set off by reporting to police by the woman's concerned family leads to finding a body. The suspect, whose estranged wife also went missing earlier this year. Triangle of Mystery and Death in Pike County, Kentucky. Chadwick Hunt, Clara Morgan O'Brien, and Valerie Chantel Hunt, both women were reported missing, with O'Brien likely dead and Valerie Hunt, who was married to Chad Hunt, what started out as a missing woman, what started out as a missing person case of a missing woman in Pike County by her family after they had not heard from her in exactly one week, the week before Christmas, has taken a tragic turn. The discovery of a body at a lake park and an arrest by a confessing suspect who has his own separate twist of what has now become a mystery. The chain of events in this saga began on December the 21st when the Kentucky State Police Post 9 in Pikeville was contacted on December the 21st, 2020 in reference to a Pike County woman by her family. The initial investigation by the Kentucky State Police Trooper Sheldon Thomas indicated that the missing woman was identified as Clara Morgan O'Brien, who was 39 years old, had last contacted her boyfriend on December the 18th, 2020. Kentucky State Police asked for help from the public with any information that could lead to her whereabouts. O'Brien was described as a white female, 5 foot 10 inches tall, 140 pounds, with long brown hair and green eyes. In the following several days, Clara Morgan O'Brien's investigation took a turn 
when Kentucky State Police received a call on December the 27th, 2020, when the caller advised a possible unidentified deceased human body had been located at Fish Trap Lake in the Lick Creek area of Pike County. Kentucky State Police Post 9 troopers and detectives responded. The initial investigation indicated an unidentified body had been located near the park at Fish Trap Lake in the Lick Creek community. The body was sent to the medical examiner's office in Frankfurt for an autopsy. The cause of death was under investigation at the time of this story. Um, and it just goes on to say, Chadwick Hunt, age 44 of Lick Creek, was arrested on December the 29th after a search warrant was served at his home in which he was then charged with abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence. According to the arrest citation, Chadwick Hunt told Kentucky State Police detectives that a woman named Morgan had died on December the 19th and that he had moved her body to the location where it was found. Kentucky State Police were not commenting at the time, but they believed that Morgan was Clara Morgan O'Brien. As this case was not mysterious and tragic enough, in a disturbing coincidence, Chadwick Hunt is also married to another woman who was also reported missing, Valerie Chantel Hunt. Although the two were estranged, Valerie Hunt, age 39, went missing after contacting her family from the home of Chadwick Hunt at Lick Creek. Her family members told Pike County outlet, uh, media outlet, Mountaintop News, that they had last heard from her on July the 30th and that she was at Hunt's family home that they had last heard from her on July the 30th and that she was at Hunt's home, her estranged husband's home, at the time that she went missing. She was reported missing on August the 12th. The Kentucky State Police Post 9 missing person report of Valerie Hunt was released on September the 22nd asking for the public's help with any information. She was described as a white female, 5 foot 8 inches tall and 160 pounds, with curly dark brown hair and brown eyes. At this time, there was no indication from law enforcement that Chad Hunt had any involvement in her disappearance. Now, they, they go on to talk a little bit about the fact that Valerie Hunt had um, been into some suspicious activity. They had gotten a call about her in October of 2019. Pike County Sheriff's de deputies responded to a call about someone um, at the Shelby Valley Clinic. And deputies discovered that Valerie Hunt was hiding behind the clinic. She was wanted in Letcher County on three meth-related charges and she was taken into custody. Um, once Pike County Deputy Sheriff Sergeant did a thorough search, they found five small plastic bags containing what they believed to be meth inside of scrunchies inside of her, um, in her hair. Valerie Hunt was facing a charge of possession of meth as well as three other charges in Letcher County. She had been arrested five times between April the 25th, 2017 and July of 2020. Most of these were promoting contraband, meth, and theft. Now, the only reason that I bring that up is some people believe that she had gone off and just took off because she had these pending criminal charges hanging over her head. Others believe that she was trying to make some kind of a deal and that she was a police informant and that she was hiding out from someone who maybe she was going to um, 
give evidence up about. And others believe that this was just simply a case of her ex or her estranged husband, a domestic situation, because they said that she was last seen at his home, or she was last heard from at his home. So to answer this question that someone had posted on this, why was it so important for the paper to talk about her past criminal charges? It's not like that they're going to use that to find her. Well, um, I don't, you know, it's, some people call it victim blaming. Some people call it uh, bringing up the past. Because like in the other story that I did about Linda Price and Michael Gorley, it was thought that they had been mixed up in some drug activity. And the mother of Michael Gorley believes the police didn't really put a lot of work into looking for him. Probably because he had criminal charges in the past and maybe he had been in some trouble. And it's often believed that the police just don't give enough uh, credibility to these cases because they just see these people as, you know, involved in drug activity and risky lifestyles, you know. But if someone reports someone missing, it shouldn't matter. They should be, you know, looked for the same as anyone else. This is from July the 21st of 2023, and this is recent. New details released after sentencing in a Pike County murder case. Authorities have released new details in a Pike County murder case. Chadwick Hunt, 46 of Lick Creek, was recently sentenced to serve 23 years in connection with the murder of Clara Morgan O'Brien. Um, Hunt will not be eligible for parole for 20 years. Because it is an, a violent offense, there's a requirement of 85% to be served. The attack which killed O'Brien was brutal. According to the report, the autopsy report revealed that Clara Morgan O'Brien had multiple stab wounds. Additionally, there were two significant lacerations on the back of her head caused by blunt force trauma. She had a broken jaw and multiple teeth had been knocked out. This was a vicious attack on her. She was reported missing by her boyfriend on December the 18th, 2020, and was found December the 28th. She was found in a culvert close to Chadwick Hunt's house. Her body had been wrapped in black garbage bags and a mattress cover, which had Hunt's name written on it. According to Sloan, Hunt initially told authorities that he and O'Brien were using drugs at his home and she overdosed. He got scared and wrapped her body up and placed her in his junk room. When she began to smell, he said, he told authorities that he dragged her out of the back door and put her in the culvert, hoping the water would rise high enough to wash her away. Four months prior to O'Brien's body being discovered, Hunt's wife, Valerie Hunt, was reported missing also. Recently, authorities discovered bone fragments on a hill behind the residence that Valerie Hunt had shared with Chadwick. Sloan says DNA evidence has confirmed the bone fragments to be those of Valerie Hunt's. However, a cause of death cannot be determined because that's all they had were some bone fragments. They could not determine a cause of death. Unless someone comes forward as a witness or confesses, there is no evidence that would implicate anyone in Valerie Hunt's death. So while her bones, and it doesn't go into detail about what, you know, how many different bones may have been found, or this is from unidentified wiki and this was dated I uh, can't find a date on this Pike County Jane Doe was a woman whose remains were found during a search for the missing woman Valerie Hunt in Lick Creek, Kentucky 
Valerie was suspected to have been killed by her husband, Chadwick Hunt. Chadwick was also found guilty of murder of another woman whose body was found near his home in Lick Creek. And they don't... They're calling this the Pike County Jane Doe was a female... Um, Now, as far as I can remember, Valerie Hunt's remains may have been found back in November, but it was not announced that it was her remains until very recently, just here in the last few months, probably two months. There were other human remains found in Pike County as well. I think they found a skull in the city, in the area of Elkhorn City, which is probably... 15 minutes or so from Lick Creek. I don't know if those remains have been identified yet. I don't know. Uh, I couldn't find anything about that. So as of right now, while Valerie Hunt's remains have been identified, there was only a few pieces of, you know, fragments of bones unless they find more remains or unless they find some bloody clothing or something that might be in that area. As of right now, they're not calling her death a homicide. Um, they're simply saying that it's a possibility that the same thing happened to her that happened to this Clara Morgan O'Brien. Maybe Clara Morgan O'Brien found out about Valerie Hunt but Clara Morgan O'Brien was was murdered, brutally murdered, stabbed and beaten to death and hid in a culvert. And Chadwick Hunt, he, you know, the the trash bags that he wrapped her up in were were also trash bags were found in his home. The um, covering, the mattress cover that he used to cover her, had his father's name written on it. And he kept her in his home. Her remains were found 10 days after she was reported missing. I don't know how long he kept her in his home before he moved her body out to this culvert. But he said when she started to smell, so I'm guessing a few days. He may have kept her in there up to four or five days. And... Um, that's just really, it's really sad, and it's sad to know that Valerie Hunt's remains were discovered, but her family's not ever going to have an, uh, well, they may not ever have an answer. I would say to Chadwick Hunt, you're going to be in prison for 20 years. Um, I doubt that he would ever confess, and he'll probably never be charged with the murder or the homicide of his wife. The only thing that anyone can take away from this is that both of these families now, at least Clara Morgan O'Brien's family, got the answer. They knew that their daughter had been murdered. Their loved one had been murdered by this man, and he did get punishment for that. It doesn't make it any easier for them, I'm sure, but... At least they're not still searching for her remains, right? And the family of Valerie Hunt finally got some answer. They now know that she is deceased. They now know that she was found close to the place where she was last known to have been. And close to the home of the man who murdered this other woman. So it just kind of like makes sense that everybody believes that he murdered her. And he probably did. That's speculation. But I appreciate everyone for watching. And I just want to say to anyone who may hear this from those families, I'm very familiar with Pike County, Kentucky. I'm very familiar with Lick Creek. And this is a story that I have followed since it happened. And when I found out that these remains were found... I did reach out to some people who were friends of friends who knew this family. And if they ever 
if they hear this and they do want to ever talk, they can reach out to me. They can leave a comment and I will get in touch with them. They may have details about these two women that weren't talked about here. And I just appreciate everybody for watching.